Get ready, get ready, get ready. Today is the second Wednesday of the month. And joining me shortly will be my co-host, Dr. Shanae Davis. But first, I want to say thank you to those of you that tune in to In Touch News Radio. Remember, you can go there right now live and catch the show, enter your comments, and give us a chance to respond back to you. Today is 9-11, September 11th. All of us remember the, the day as, as you awakened every news television station radio brought back to our remembrance 18 years ago that's how long it's been since terrorists commandeered airplanes and took down the twin towers in the world trade center but they didn't stop there went on to the pentagon And so on this day, we remember all of those who lost their lives as a result of that. The numbers are staggering. We heard numbers in in the hundred. First we heard 64, then the numbers in the building 125, and the numbers continued to climb till they exceeded over 2,000. That's a lot of lives taken. So we pause on this 9-11, year 18, to offer our condolences, our prayers to those family members. Certainly, thanks to all of the first responders. And here we are, 18 years later. Most of us can remember where we were. I was actually in my office and was able to to catch the the news as it was happening and and coming through. And so I can now turn to my co-host, Dr. Shanae Davis, and and say to you, where were you on 9-11, 18 years ago? Hi, Cheryl. And on this um, somber um, day of um, remembrance, um, I actually said to my daughter this morning on our way to school, I remember where I was at this time today as at um, 8.46, Wednesday, this um, day 18 years ago, um, as the first tower was struck, um, you know, there was a little bit of disbelief, and I was at an office, I worked in an endocrine office in Tallahassee at the time, and I had just discharged a patient and, you know, the office and, you know, we were all there and like, did you, did you hear what happened? Um, Is that real? No, that didn't really happen. So we start to go about the business again as the um, phones were starting to ring. Mm -hmm. uh, My husband called and said, hey, did you hear about this? And in Tallahassee as the capital of Florida, during the phone call, the second plane hit. And Tallahassee started to shut down. Um, It was surreal. Um, Obviously, we didn't have the same, uh, you know, Wi-Fi. And we were still on the analog Mm -hmm. system for cell phones and communication, et cetera. So we went to a TV to see what was going on. But it was um, a surreal day um, of disbelief as... You know, everyone around you sort of, you know, wrap their head around the events of the day. And in the city's, uh, sorry, the state's capital of Florida, watching it shut down. And you were actually in an office and I was in my office, not in a corporate setting where I could have conversation with with other individuals. And, and, and for that one moment, I was like, oh, man, you know, I, I wanted to be where I could could. um exchange and and communicate with others and because it was it was so surreal and for for the rest all throughout that day it was just so difficult to grasp right and even though um by the end we just shut down and left and certainly um i went home so that i could um see it on 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 television and that somberness that that you described earlier disbelief the fact that um we, we just couldn't believe it. 
and at a loss for words. And then you begin to hear and see more of the stories and um, the, the, the news representatives were catching individuals and speaking to them and it was it was something we'll never forget never forget and we i know dj forget. ceo is is here with us and, and we were having a, a little exchange right before the show and wanted to make sure that uh, we took a few minutes to um share our respect and those who lost their lives and and those who tried to save so many in the process you, you know i remember um exactly what i was doing which mm. was getting ready for work and i saw um I saw on the news that the first, uh, the first one, and, first plane and you, hit. You, it, it, like you said, it's surreal. It's something you didn't believe, and then I saw the second one. Yes, and you know the second one just had me just standing there. I, I can literally see myself with my tie because I was mm-hmm. tying my my tie, and I just stopped tying my necktie and just watched it. It was like. It was just disbelief. It was disbelief. And, and you know, the, uh, uh, one of the past uh, 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 shows, the show just before this one, they were talking about how afraid uh, people were. But I don't know necessarily think that it was fear more so than, than disbelief. Right. It's like, wow, they, it came in our backyard. This yes. is America. You know, yes. Now, that America. was hard to believe. Now, you know, we ain't scared, you know, because we about to beat you up. <laughs> But I can't believe you I, jumped the fence day. in my backyard right. and did that. To this You're about day. to get beat down. And, and that was kind of the feeling. But And, of course, you know, we beat, we beat some people down for it. But it, it, it has forever Ugh. changed the way business is done. And even Absolutely. the way relationships are The way are done, we live, the way, the way we, we operate, uh, our it, level it, of it, vigilance. It, by the time my, my husband came home and we got in, and then it was just my daughter and, um, you know, having the conversation and like Daryl, I don't think it was fear. Um, the, the other thing that I thought was amazing, it was like I was spellbound. I don't even remember immediately whispering a prayer. It was just, and that would be a normal response for me. Mm-hmm. Immediately you would just, you know, go into, into, into prayer mode. Spellbound. Spellbound. I also remember hearing, I did feel fear um, at the moment that I learned that the Pentagon was hit. Mm -hmm. Mm. And when um, the plane went down in Shanksville. And I couldn't stop thinking about, you know, the phone calls that, of course, the technology was not, you know, less than it is today. But, you know, people made calls from those planes. And there were efforts to, you know, save themselves, um, people um, that perished um, on those those planes. And then hearing all the names afterwards and oh watching gosh. countless news stories um, afterwards, um, not only did it um, at the moment give, give me fear, um, I had fear for, uh, you know, a few days and to some degree, you know, a few weeks after that, um, my first plane ride Oh, was yeah. in October, um, um, maybe about two or well, it had to be about maybe three weeks. I knew it, it wasn't October 11th. It was like maybe the first week mm-hmm. of October um, thereafter. And I was going to Chicago for a diabetes pump, this, that, or the other. And um, Julia, my husband, had, was going with me. And um, he sat in the middle seat. It was a three, mm-hmm. you know, um, three seat, seat on single. each side. And, you know, without words um we were seated and on the out on the aisle there was a a white man and then there was a man that looked to be a muslim um came in um to the or boarded the plane and he had on a turban and um we 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 stereotyped him and i didn't say anything but the caucasian gentleman um elbowed my husband and they just looked at each other and said absolutely man absolutely yeah you know and there was no um preceding sentence or anything it was just an understood of what those mm-hmm. two men were going to mm-hmm. do but our whole mindset um, our whole way of viewing the world um viewing those around us um viewing who's 
a risk factor for our safety. All, everything changed on, on today, 18 years ago. So as I, as I listen to the two of you talk and, and the feelings are, are just seem to just kind of come back um, right here at us. And you can, you can almost remember exactly what you had on and, and what you did for the, for the rest of the, of the day. You may have been on a plane about a month later, but by the t- it was a long time, long period before I got on the plane. Mm-hmm. But you better believe that was my thought. <laughs> and and our youngest son, who at the time was wearing this 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 beard and and the way he looked, oh, <laughs> poor fella, he, oh, he ran black man. Yeah, mm. <laughs> he caught it. He caught it as he was trying to um, trying to to catch a plane. But here we are. And so we wanted to certainly make sure we got a chance to express our thoughts and, and feelings, and they're real. We're feeling them as, as I look at, at each of you and, and listen to you tentatively describe what happened on 9-11. It's still hard to believe it was 18 years ago. But there was something that there was a, a, a lady, there were so many stories um, from different individuals, family members, but there was one lady that thought she awakened with what she surmised as a bad day. A bad day. Nothing was going right for her. And she was about to, she was going to be late for work. And she had difficulty taking her, her baby to school. Everything that could have come her way, um, impeded her from getting to her job and it wasn't until after all of that happened and she said wow she said one of her one of her guardian angels was was with her that day Mm -hmm. and stopped her because she would have been right there her building was matter of fact where her building her office was positioned she would have been one that would have been taken out but she was late to work that morning but what as I, I read her story, what resonated with me was sometimes when things are happening in your life and you don't know why, or you may have been stopped by a train or a traffic light, I've learned to just take a breath. Yes. And I say, okay, Lord, slow your roll, girl. All things I work together abso- for good. But I'm Romans telling you from that day yes. till today, mm-hmm. I just, no, nah, I'm done. I'll get there when I get there. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for whatever you you are saving me from. Thank you all to to those of you who are joining us on In Touch News. To um, we're streaming live on on Facebook, and, and as Dr. Davis was talking about the Lord, we were praying mightily that the Lord would touch our equipment yeah. <laughs> and our program and make sure that you got here okay. Yes. And so we serve an awesome God, and we're here today because we serve an, an awesome God, and He's the reason that we're here, and we're able to communicate with you every Wednesday. Absolutely. Twelve thirty-one. So my girl is here. She's in I the do. house rocking her new do. <laughs> I think I changed my One hair of these month. days. I'll switch it up, but not often. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I forget that I I probably what? do switch every yeah. now. <laughs> and that's okay. That's a good thing, girl. <laughs> Oh, That's a good thing. It's called sus. Sus-a-lox. Switching up styles. Because we can. Because we can. <laughs> Shout out to switching it up right here on the 5508 campus. So here we are, September and um, September 9-11th. And it's a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. It's hump a Wednesday. Day. And hump, hump day. Yes. Well, there's a lot to talk about. Also, we will be focusing on, let's see, bringing awareness to prostate cancer Indeed. but it's also um cholesterol awareness, cholesterol month, awareness and month. baby safety baby month safety. and i thought about babies when you were talking about oh. your 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 young one she's mm-hmm. a lady she's a young lady <laughs> beautiful young lady 20 every day huh? 20 every day well 21 22 26 well, wait a minute wait a minute if, you if, know our standard saying i know but if i'm 28 and you're 25 your baby can't be call it what you will we love the Lord. <laughs> He's an able God. Yes. yes. Only God can Only turn the, God. The, the clock around. And Come so on, Jesus. We, Come we on, feel Jesus. that way. And um, since Jesus is in the building, mm, let him have we'll, his way. We'll stick with. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> is she, what, did, what did you have for breakfast? Weenies? <laughs> Actually, we'll get to that in a bit. 
So September is prostate? Yes. Yes, bring us oh, back yes. to where we're supposed to be. <laughs> September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and that's something that I, um, I I love to talk about. I do not have a prostate, but it's okay uh, if for Two everyone, of us in this room do not. I, oh, no prostate. That's right. So if um, you do have a prostate or if you know somebody with a prostate. I we, love our, we love you our husbands. Prostate, got, there you go. If you love somebody yeah. with a prostate or I'm know somebody with a prostate. Y'all love me. Indeed. We love you yeah, enough to talk me. about it, to bring the conversation to the dinner table. Oh we, that, that's what we're talking about today, bringing that conversation to the dinner table to help to inform those that we love. And um, when we know better, we do better. You know, when Cheryl said, that you were uh, doing uh, the show on prostate cancer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I said, well, I got to go pee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> to make sure that you it's don't so real. miss it, to make, to make sure no. that we don't miss a moment, one, but also making sure that that stream is, hey, you know, boy. hitting targets That's and it's it. not hitting your thigh or your shoes it. or but, anything like that. Davis, he's doing good because he didn't leave. Well, that's awesome. He that's, didn't that's, leave. That's even, that's even more um, awesome. So we'll be talking about some of those so symptoms. There's, so there's Absolute. no sense of urgency How about that? that's there. But let me get on with a few um, statistics. <laughs> now, you know okay. that I um, my PhD is a... Well, my doctor is Ph.D., which means I read a lot and I understand a lot. I like, like to look at a lot of research, um, be involved with it when I can. But I'm a nurse practitioner, certified diabetes educator and chronic disease manager with Your Best You, personalized right. primary and diabetes specialty care. Y'all check her out. So I um, make sure to give sources. I don't give um, advice. I tell my patients this all the time. I don't give advice. What I do is um, give you information to help you make um informed decisions decisions. on your own behalf. Um, We are the managers of our own health and the experts on on our life, what brought about our risk factors and our state of being. So we want every patient at Your Best You, personalized primary and diabetes special care, to leave better than they um, arrived, empowered, engaged, and activated. The sources that that I am going to speak from today are the um, Cancer um, Center Treatment of America. You can find these things online, of course, the CDC. I love that. But also, most people don't know about the uh, SEER, uh, which stands for Surveillance, Epidemiology, and End Result Program. It is a NIH database. You can just Google it and find um, information on really any cancer, its um, prevalence, its incidence, who's most affected, um, um, you know, the survival rate, et cetera, et cetera. And, of course, it's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, so without... Um, any more chatter, um, I want to share that prostate cancer, for the most part, is very, very survivable, and finding it early is the key. Um, These statistics um, from the national database are up to date up to about 2016. So a five-year survival rate for a gentleman with prostate cancer with a diagnosis of prostate cancer is um, about 98%. 98 percent so this means that when you find that there's a problem you get it addressed Um, there are many options out there and there's a good chance that you'll you'll live Um, it's not one of the cancers that has a very high mortality rate um, at all in 2019 the estimated new cases or incidents is about 170 
I'm <laughs> <laughs>